Okay, like we said, integration is actually reverse differentiation. Okay, in the general form first. Alright, in general. This is how we actually write integrate a function with respect to x. I say again, integrate is not a f, it's a very elongated f. Integrate a function. Okay, let me call this function ax to the power of n itself. With respect to x means to put dx. Okay, so if I need to integrate ax to the power of f, take note, I need to do reverse differentiation. When you did differentiation, what do you all do previously? Bring down the power, reduce the power by 1. Am I right? Now you need to do the reverse manner. You don't bring down the power first. What do you do to the power? You must add 1 first. So I will continue to write this function. Ax, what you need to do, step number 1, power at 1. So you plus 1 to the power, that is step number 1. So I'll write down n plus 1. So instead of bringing down in front, make a good guess, what do I do with this new power? Because when you bring down in front over here, it's seen as a multiplication, a multiple, am I right? So I, what is the reverse of multiplication? Division. So what you need to do is to Divide by the new power. Okay? Divide by the new power. So, but there is a very important step. Yes, this is the correct integrated term already. Okay? This is the correct integrated term, but very importantly, you must put a plus C. Why a plus C? This means there is a constant C. Why do I say that? When you differentiate C, what do you get? Zero. And you do not know what is the value of this C. But sometimes in work problems, you are required to find out the value of this C. So now, what I want to remind you is, yes, then step number one, you add one to the new power, uh, sorry, add one to the power, divide by the new power, but you must remember to put a plus C. If you do not write this plus C, you will penalize one mark. Okay? Ah, this is what integration is about. So far, any questions? But the same thing is just like what we do for differentiation, please always remember to simplify the expression in this form before you do your differentiation. Okay? Okay, let's get started. Let's do practice now one. Page 431, let's take a look at the first one, part A. Integrate, find the integral of each of the following is as well as telling me integrate the following expression. So our integrate x cubed with respect to x. Okay? Integrate x cubed with respect to x. Jin Hao, what do you do first? Add 1 to the power 3, you'll get 4. x to the power of 4. Then, you divide by the new power 4. Is that good enough? Plus c. Okay. This answer is good enough. Is there another way to represent this answer, Chelsea? Thank you. Alternatively, you can write 1 quarter x to the power of 4 plus. Okay? I need to write it this form because sometimes some of you cannot recognize it. Okay? These two are synonymous. Can? Okay, part B, you will do your job. Part B, you are given dy dx is equal to square root x. You are supposed to integrate this square root x to find y. Agree, right? dy dx, to get back to y means I need to do the reverse process. I need to integrate square root x with respect to x. Okay, I will give you.
you one minute. Do you think you can integrate square root x like that? Change the square root to power half and then do as a normal. Three step up, add the power by one, divide by the new power. Yeah. 